The Blue Jackets setting up for their final four games of the year, and only one of those is here, and that's tonight's game against the Phoenix Coyotes. Jody, the Blue Jackets, they've got enough points right now to get in, but the season's not over. They have to keep accumulating. It's an 82-game season, and it's coming to an end quick here for the Jackets. Two back-to-backs to finish it. Last game at home tonight. They're in a good position, but the Jackets know, Bob, they got to take care of business. We said that all year. That's right, and Corey Trop will say it right now. I think we put ourselves in a position where if we take care of business on our side, uh, we'll, we'll get to where we want to be. So, You know, it is hard to believe that there were 40 home games played already. This is the 41st. It seems like only yesterday the season got started. It's crazy, and the Jackets have put themselves in a position by taking every game. Like so, The urgency has been so high, and here they are with the last regular season home game. They're excited, but they know they got to take care of work here, Bob. And Mark Letestu says it's really important to this team to win in front of the home crowd tonight. There's certainly focus on that. Uh, we we want to take some momentum going out on the road. Uh, but, you know, the fans have been, you know, real supportive the last little while here. So to, to give them a treat, uh, maybe to move two points closer to, to a playoff spot uh, would mean a lot for both, the, you know, the team and the community. Well, the Blue Jackets are going to take on a desperate Phoenix team tonight. Jody, they're in a similar situation, except they're on the outside looking in coming into this game tonight. Ironically, they're battling the Dallas Stars who the Blue Jackets will play tomorrow night. So the Blue Jackets are going to have uh, a lot of say as to what happens in the Western Conference. Yeah, you look at this 24 hours for the Jackets. Phoenix tonight, Dallas tomorrow night. Dallas is ahead by one point, but the task at hand is the Phoenix Coyotes. They're desperate, they're a little rested, and the Jackets know that. they got to take care of this Phoenix team here in their own building. Well, the Phoenix Coyotes, they have a lot of good players, and one of the guys that's been the best is Keith Yandel. He's a defenseman that puts up a lot of points. Their captain, Shane Doan, has been there forever. He is Mr. Consistency. They also have another guy that might not jump off the sheet, but his name is Martin Erat, and he has been a Blue Jackets killer throughout his career. Well, Erat is so familiar with the Jackets. He's played in this building so often with the Nashville Predators, and the Jackets know how to take care of him. Shane Doan, one of the best leaders in the NHL, Mr. Consistency, like you say. The Jackets got to watch him and his leadership skills. He knows how desperate their team's going to be. He'll try to lead the way. And, of course, on the defense, Yandel, he leads the team in points. He's an effective player. He didn't get invited to the Olympics, but he's really asserted himself as one of the elite players in the league. One thing Phoenix does not have is their starting goaltender, Mike Smith. Thomas Grice is going to be making the start. He's a guy you know well from your time in San Jose. Thomas Grice is a backup there. He's a hardworking kid. He's just looking for his opportunity. He's been a little up and down here for the Coyotes, but they're relying on him big time right now. All right, it's time for the keys to getting it done. Brought to you by YP. Jody, what do the Blue Jackets have to do to win tonight? Bob, key number one is stay away from the cute stuff. I thought last game they got away from their game and got a little too cute. Gave them a little trouble. So stay away from that tonight. Keep it direct. Key number two, limit time in the defensive zone. Nothing good is going to happen when you're in your own end. Don't let Sergey work too much in the defensive core. Get it in the offensive zone. Have some fun down there. Well, now we find ourselves in a spot where we have to hope to do this again in a week or so. We will. All right. I take your word for it. I trust him implicitly. <laughs> for Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. This has been the Time Warner Rink Report. Enjoy the game.